All right. So we have the uh, radishes and the echinacea started. We'll check back in about a week. That'll let some light in. At the same time, keep the moisture in and the birds off. So today what we're doing is we're also um, vitalizing the worm pile. Um, through the storm, a piece fell off from my moringa. So way down in there are worms. But um, the actual uh, soil part of it seems to be disappearing. So once every four years, I go ahead and I'm taking some mushroom compost. And uh, I'm going to put a whole bag in there. So using the wrong item here. I'm just going to. Beat it up. All right. All right. And then we'll do the same thing over here at this one. This is the moringa that broke. So I put it in the uh, worm pile. So there's our compost bag. And let's beat that up. I have a better device to do this, but I'm just too lazy to go get it. So. We'll go ahead and move that over here. Put that on top of the moringa. There we go. Not too bad. All right, so now we give it the weekly goods. Got to put some food in there for the worms to find. So we have our coffee grounds. It's supposed to be all kitchen waste, but uh, I haven't been cooking much. And then I cut up some treats, some clearance apples that were going bad at the local bashes. And then tonight, I had a uh, moldy, I went on a trip, and my raspberry preserves went, were, went bad. So I'm gonna mix that with water and feed that to the hungry worms. So that's the next step, is to spread this stuff around. Let's go ahead and do that now. So I grab it just about in half. There we go. I happen to think that the, by now that the worms are all very caffeinated and probably addicted to coffee. And the last trait before I rake it up is to um, give it apples. So we'll do the same thing. Grab about half the bag with one hand. And they'll like finding those, don't you think? Eventually, the mold. 
bacteria that eat that, they eat they eat what eats the apple. And the last one. Well, that's not a bad distribution. You just grab it in your hand. And so now I'll rake it over and the last step will be uh, distributing the uh, the preserves. All right, as you can see, this is all recharged and bundled up for the night. But because it has all of that new uh, mushroom compost, we've got a uh, jar of moldy preserves there. I'll hit that with the hose and the sugar water, sweet water, will end up going on top of the worm pile. And this one over here is all bundled up and ready to go. So I buttoned it up and then I put a half bucket of water on it. But all that manure needs, uh, compost, uh, mushroom compost needs to be wetted. So not only are we wetting it with this next, these coming buckets, but it'll also be very sugary water so that the microbes and bacteria can go to town on the apples and anything else that's in there. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's see if we can do this with the camera roll. Whoops. Helps it turn on the water. So we'll aim a little higher. See what's happening? There's all of that sweet water. I think we'll be trickling into the uh, Right there, it's trickling into the worm pile. But remember just to do half of it because we got to do the other one too. But that's the last treat is to load it up with sugar water and an old moldy. So if you ever have a moldy jar preserved, uh, don't throw that away. Just uh, save it, put it in the freezer, and then we'll do this other one here. But since you've seen this one, you kind of know what's happening. And that way it'll be loaded up with sweets and the mushroom compost. And that will excite and, re and really recharge the pile. So let's see where we'd want to put this one. That would be good. So, let's go ahead and get the hose. You might as well see this one too. You know, if this was the summertime, the ants would go nuts with that. But I like to think that now that we're getting into the 40s at night, But that's not going to happen. So let's see what we got to do here. And here's the Makuna coming along. Here's some pods right there. They're still getting black. They got to be nice and black. But in two weeks, I used to harvest them. And then look, there's a bunch more. Hopefully there's a lot that I can't see. Maybe I don't see many. But let's go ahead and finish this up.
right. There's the jar. Let's get a little more out of that. What do you think? I think that's doing it. All right. Let's not get ridiculous. But that's it. How to recharge your vermicost pile using moldy preserve jars, old apples, coffee grinds, and one cubic foot of mushroom compost. So let's call it a wrap. I think that's it. All right, it's February 27th, 2021. And I thought I would show you today, um, we had recharged the uh, worm pile. And I wanted to show you today uh, the results of that. And it looks like, uh, remember I had that potatoes in the worm pile thing uh, video? Well, um, it looks like uh, I left a potato in the ground because we got potatoes. eventually see what's in there. I think it was either red or purple. Um, and also it's that time of year where we've got the lavender blossoming. And we have the aloe vera blossoming. And the moringa seems to blossom year round these days. In any event, let's take a look and see what um, what the worm pile looks like. And the last time we were here, when I re started the recharging part, I put about two cubic feet of mushroom compost there. But, um, See all those worms? So the worms have repopulated. I was going to add some red worms, red wigglers, from uh, from the pet store, you know, for fishing or a bait store. But I thought, um, why not just let see the worms do their own thing? And these are kind of a hybridized worm. Kind of combination of the natural worms around here and also the red wigglers that I added about five years ago. So they look like they're back and so I'm gonna go ahead and feed them like I usually do today being Saturday. But I just thought I'd show you that the recharged worm pile worked and now I can commence and I got potatoes coming. It'll be interesting to see uh, how many of those happen. Oh, and while we're taking a peek, here are the radishes. That worked out quite well. Start to harvest those soon. All right, so let's call it a wrap.